hello students welcome to show of sales classes so in today's video we will be solving a couple of questions mainly question number 77 78 and 79 so today we will solve these three questions so first i will start with question number 77 so it's question number 77 it is asked that ratchet effect is the situation where household find it difficult to adjust to rising income than falling incomes easier to adjust to rising incomes than falling incomes difficult to save due to low incomes and none of the above so out of this four right right answer would be option b that is ratchet effect is the situation where household finds it easier to adjust to rising income than falling income so for question number 77 the right answer is option B. So question number 77, the right option is option B. Now we'll come to the next question, which is question number 78. So in question number 78, it is asked that in standard ISLA model, which of the following is true if government raises tax rate and central bank decide to hold money supply constant, then what happens? For this, we have to figure out what happens. So, this is IS curve, this is LM curve. Now we know when government raises tax rate, basically it is a contractionary fiscal policy. So, IS curve moves here and when hold money supply constant bank that is LM curve remain constant. So basically interest rate falls from R0 to R1. So interest rate fall in this case. So the right answer would be interest rate falls. So for question number 78 the right answer would be option C. Now we'll come to the next question which is a sum of money will become 40, 46,000 in 5 years and 4960 in 8 years at a certain rate of simple interest. Now the rate of interest is 4 options are given. We have to figure out which one is the right answer for this. We will take another page. So for question number 79. First we have to assume let the sum of money be s yes, so let the sum of money be small s and now 46 4600 is given equals to sum of money into s into r into s divided by 100 now from here you can find s plus ssr by 100 so Now if you solve it, you will get the value to be equals to 4600 equals to 100. We take 100 here as LCM. So it become 100S plus here it is 5SS. So it will become 55S. So it will become 5 S R sorry it will become 5 S R so now if you multiply this here and this side it will become S equals to 4 6 0 0 0 0 divided by 100 plus 5 R so basically it is nothing but 4960 equals to S plus 5R equals to S plus S into R into 8 divided by 100. So now if you solve it you will get the value to be equals to
plus it will become 85 5 in 85 into r so it becomes 8 s r sorry it is not 85 it is 8 s r now if you solve it further you will get the value to be equals to s equals to 4960000 divided by 100 plus 8 r now if you simply solve it you will get the value to be equals to this now all you have to do is you have to equate this value with that of with this value now if you equate this two you will get 4960000 divided by 100 plus 8r equals to 4600000 divided by 100 plus 5r now if you sum simply this three gets cancelled out so we are left with 496 multiplied by 100 plus SR and so it will eventually becomes equals to 460 into 100 plus 8R equals to 496 plus 2480 r equals to 46000 plus 3600 r if you simply solve it it will become 49600 minus 46000 which is equals to 3680 r minus 2480 r now if you further solve it you will get the value of r to be equals to 3 so we have found the r the value of r is 3 percent now we will get back to the question paper again so in question paper there are four options out of which we will write down option a is the right answer if you refer to the question paper you will get to see the option a is the right answer so in today's video we will solve a couple of questions that is most mainly question three questions so for Question number 77, the right answer was B. For question number 78, the right answer was C. For question number 79, the right answer was A. So, in the subsequent video, we will solve other questions from the same question paper. So, thank you for watching this video. If you have any query or doubt, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number, which is 9836-793076. Or you can also go to our website, which is www.showropsers.com classes.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials needed for m economics exam of hyderabad central university so thank you for watching this video have a nice day ahead